Gioia! 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 Question number eight. We are getting more warm. Warmer and warmer. <laughs> How yeah. can we find more pleasure and satisfaction using Tantra tools and knowledge? Okay. So we are still in the field of, uh, you know, tantric sex, tantric energy, erotic fire and so on, right? So the, the first thing to understand is that, um, you know, tantra is not a linear thing, uh, especially with, with tantric sex. It's not a linear thing. It's not like you apply a recipe and you keep on doing that. It is an art form. There is a little bit of technique, but then you have to explore it a little bit like you play the guitar, right? Mm -hmm. And then you go, oh, suddenly you have an idea, you play a tune, and then... So it's a very intuitively guided experience. It's not guided from a rational place. You know, the rational, like you learn some chords, but eventually you, you forget about the chords, and then you just start improvising on, on uh, your, your guitar, and then you play this amazing flamenco <laughs> tune, right? So the... Um, you know, that's the first thing to understand. It is that it's really uh, um, uh, an art form. Then uh, when we start to, to dive into, um, into specific practices, then one of them is really touch and presence mm -hmm. with touch. It's like, for instance, if, uh, if you have your partner and you, you put your hands on that person and you are 100% present, then you start exploring how the different parts of their body are going to respond to that. Imagine that this time the body of your partner is your musical instrument. Mm -hmm. Instead of playing the guitar, you play the sensations on their body and you observe all that. So uh, the goal is for you to be able to, to navigate that with curiosity, you know, experience and, and playing with all that and uh, try to see what happens uh, depending on the intensity of the touch, if you add some sensual dominance, for instance, if you add tons of softness, if you use oils and no oils, you know, all of that. So the experience of touch. And um, one of the things that is really important is, is the curiosity to be, to be open to experiment and try and explore. So this is something that you can set up with, with your partner, right? You, you look at the way you can navigate and really have conversations about that and be open to the idea of experimenting a little bit with that. Um, something else as well is that when, uh, when I engage into tantric sex practices with, uh, with my partner, um, we are going to have very often some form of structure in the session. So I will very often set up a timer, right? With sequences, we'll do like, for instance, 10 sequences of five minutes each, and then each, each, uh, each sequence, each five minutes, is going to be dedicated to a, a very specific practice. So we might be, for instance, standing, uh, you know, breathing and connecting with each other on an energetic level with very soft touch. Then another practice might be just engaged into very soft kissing. Another practice might be, you know, engaging in uh, other, other forms of touch. And some of them, once we get uh, closer and closer, then uh, engaging into intercourse or engaging into different, different ways of, um, yeah, different directions, different positions, different things. So the, the field of possibilities is unlimited. But what happens when you, you focus on the, the practice is that it adds a little bit more intention. It allows you to go a little bit deeper into practice. Because, for instance, if you are if you are making love with uh, with your partner and you add, for instance, a mantra, you know, mm -hmm. and you are you are in intercourse, and then you add the word, for instance, anahata jai, and you focus on the mantra and you sing that together for 15 minutes. Believe me, that that's, that's going to add a dimension that you would not tap into otherwise. So, um, yeah, realize that. Um, technique, practice is something that you can really bring into your love making and uh, of course don't make it rigid, don't make it like a series of protocols mm -hmm. that you have to follow. It's not a mentalizing thing. You, you keep the art form and the um, flow, yeah, yeah. spontaneous and the flow but uh, to, to be good at that uh, it's technique and flow. You know, it's like to be master at, uh, at tantric sex you need to understand a little bit the, the techniques and it's okay to have some information about that. Makes sense, right? Makes sense. <laughs> you got it.